Decepticons overall approach to the Tourism Awards is it's an organisational initiative. It's an award that showcases the passion of our people, the strength of our business and the quality of our visitor experience. Our approach is that the award needs to showcase every aspect of our business and every aspect has to be innovative, has to be strong, has to be ready to be put in a Tourism Awards submission. So we see this as a holistic process. It's not just for the tourism team, it's not just for your visitor services team or your marketing team, but the awards is about the whole organisation. We really do get an opportunity in business planning, business development, or a critical eye on your business that involves every aspect of your business. The Tourism Award looks at your visitor experience, it looks at how clean your toilets are, it looks at your cafe offerings, it also looks at your environmental plan, it looks at your marketing plan, it looks at how you engage local businesses in procurement. It looks at how you support your local community. Do you know your audience? Are you finding out more about your audience? Has your audience grown over time? What's next year's audience? Will that be different? So the awards showcases every aspect of the business and it allows business areas who normally wouldn't get feedback to be involved in a feedback process. So people who are looking after the Capital Works program or the building or building exhibitions or even doing work behind the scenes don't get that instant visitor feedback that the visitor services staff get. Through the Tourism Awards you can get that feedback because you can showcase innovation in every area of business and then if you're successful you can also share that win with every staff member in the organisation. So the awards for us keeps us number one keeps our visitor, visitor satisfaction over 95%, keeps our visitor numbers growing year on year because it has us look at our business and look at ways to improve our business. Well, one of the biggest challenges is to get the whole organisation to understand the importance of tourism and to see the opportunity that you have in tourism as well to improve your business. So when you've got a large organisation with different people working on different tasks and priorities with a diverse workforce, Getting them to care about the awards can be a challenge, but generally in the tourism sector and the cultural sector, people are passionate, people want to be here, and if you get them to see the awards as an opportunity for them to share their passion, showcase what they do, get some recognitions for their teams, and then celebrate as an organisation, contribute to a greater whole, you will get the buy-in. You need to have a positive tourism person that does a lot of legwork, that nothing's too hard. You need to make a little bit of a, an organisation group where the information can be put into a central source and then go back out again and refine that information. Keep people involved on your journey. Let them know what a rigorous process it is, but also what an opportunity it is. And generally, people will see it as a positive thing and they will buy in. You want to showcase your people. You want to showcase your passion. Tourism is all about people. You can't present a submission that's business as usual. You have to show how you're being innovative, how you're connecting with audiences, how you're improving the experience. The judges might have to read 10, 20 submissions. It has to stand out. It has to be engaging. It can't be boring. Really go and grab their attention, talk to them as people, imagine them as a visitor, and put yourself in the visitor's shoes. Every aspect, aspect of the business has to be touched on. You have to also talk about how you contribute to the tourism economy. How do you see it as a whole? How, as a tourism sector, how together we're stronger, together we make a better experience. So how can you support tourism businesses? How you can, can you be a sector leader? So think about those things in the submission as, as key elements. Questacon gets a great business value from the awards because it's that opportunity to look at our business in a critical way, to do some forward planning and get everybody invested in the same goal. So unlike the business plan, or at the end of the year when you get your annual report that looks at certain metrics or KPIs, the Tourism Awards looks at every aspect of your business. And so to stay number one, you have to innovate. You have to think about the next thing. You have to think about your next collaboration. And, it, and ultimately that improves your visitor experience and it will improve your visitor satisfaction. Through our Tourism Awards journey, we won Best Tourist Attraction in the Nation two years in a row, and during that time we had record visitor satisfaction and record visitor numbers. Because the Tourism Awards helped us grow our business, helped us make our business better, 
help us train our staff, invest in the right areas, invest in the people, invest in the experience, and the visitors will repay you with great reviews, and ultimately, a tourism award is something that can cap that off. If you believe in your business, if you care about your visitor, if you want to develop your staff, if you want to grow as a sector, if you want to invest in the future, then the Tourism Awards is the thing for you. I invite you to join the Tourism Awards. Go on the business improvement journey. Look at continuous improvement in your business. It's a tough process. It's a rigorous process, but that makes it quality and it will bring quality to your business. For Canberra, together we're stronger. We can build something very special in Canberra that's like nowhere else in the world. And we do that as a tourism sector, by helping each other, by improving our businesses, and the Tourism Awards can connect you with that community and also help you improve your business to be first class.